Ladies and gentlemen, you're using Photopea as a design tool and you'd like to crop an image and soften the edges. You're in the right place. It's a very simple process and I'm going to show you everything you need to know. So let's dive in. So making sure that we've got an image and what we're going to do is on the left hand side you will see that there is an ellipse select or a rectangular select. Now if you right click you'll get the different shapes. I am specifically going to use the ellipse. So what you want to do is you want to increase your feather to around about between 28 and 32. I'm just making it 30. And what you want to do is click down and you want to select an area that you would like to create that feather over. And I'm going to select this area here. If you'd like to move this around, you can actually just put your cursor inside of that circle or that rectangle. Click down and you can move this around accordingly. So what we want to do from here is go over to the right hand side and you'll see at the bottom over here there are a couple tool options there is an add raster mask and we want to click on that okay and this is what your image now should look like so from here if you want to add some color because that doesn't look really like much we want to go over to the right hand side again and we want to add a new layer and you'll find this layer over here from here we can go down again to these options and you'll see the layer style icon it's an EFF and here we're going to go look for color overlay now this will allow you to add color to your image where there is currently no color so we're going to go make sure that it's on color overlay and here we can click on this color and here we can change the color that we would like. OK, so you can select any color here. You also can color pick one of the colors that are in over here. And what I'd like to do is sort of just go for like something that is in this image. Once you've selected your color, you're going to go ahead, click on OK and again, OK. From here, we're going to go over to the left hand side. There is a gradient tool. All right, we're going to right click on this and you will find a gradient tool and a paint bucket tool. We're going to select the paint bucket tool and you are going to click anywhere within this area. So you will see now that your image has completely changed color and to the right you can see we can now change the way the layers are seen. So this top layer, we can either click down and move it down or we can click on this layer and move it up. We can also adjust the color over here and um, if we are not happy with the color again we're going to go into this uh, color overlay and we can change the color there. Now you may also want to resize this image or crop it. On the left hand side we can go and have a look for the crop tool and we're going to right click on it and you'll see the crop tool and here you can go ahead and crop it according to your needs like that and once you're happy with that you can see at the top here there is a tick and that will confirm your changes and there we go we can now export this by going up to file export as and you want to choose png or jpeg depends on what your preferences are and make sure that the quality is 100 and the option to attach the metadata to your image, you can do so, and you're going to click on save. If this was a helpful guide, you can go ahead, drop us a like, and we'll see you next time. Peace.